Well, boy, I tell you what, I mean, we must have done something right to have such a nice day of weather outside. Take a look right now, skies in Springfield, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Um, it has certainly felt more like, say, September versus the second half of July. 78 degrees, nice breeze too out of the northeast. Dew points way down there in the upper 50s. That's a big reason as to why it feels so nice and you can see we are rain free. Certainly good news after the soaking, the flooding that was had, uh, you know, just the night before last. Uh, looking at our drought monitor, take a look. I mean, as you would expect with the recent bouts of wet weather, we don't have really any drought to point out in our area. Maybe some pockets of dryness, but no real drought. Uh, but this has been something that we have found going back even into the spring. We have had consistent rainfall from the spring now into the summer. That certainly wasn't the case last summer. I mean, last summer it was drought, 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 especially central and northern parts of the state. I mean, we had drought conditions here in southern Missouri, and northern Arkansas, but it was a lot worse to our north. And it's just kind of interesting seeing that year over year change in our fortunes when it comes to the wet weather, the rain. Uh, conditions, as I said, are quiet. Looking off to the south, we do find a band of spotty showers from northeast Texas, southern Arkansas, northwest Mississippi. That is, as you would expect, right there along the cold front. Uh, that cold front, we'll call it our summer sweeper. It is swept out the summer heat. It has swept out the summer mugginess, and we're really enjoying some nice weather. Uh, high pressure is centered to our north up in Iowa. We've got a nice steady flow of comfy air blowing into the area, and that's going to continue. It looks like we're going to hold on to these lower humidities uh, through Friday, through Saturday. Even over the weekend into early next week, humidity levels really never get too out of hand. We're just going to find wetter weather, which will help to drive up the humidity levels a bit. Uh, looking at our forecast for tonight, I think the clouds that are, are present in our skies right now, a lot of that thins out. And tomorrow probably starts an awful lot like today with clear skies in most areas, but clouds will bubble up. And I think tomorrow we're probably going to find a bit more cloud cover than we found today. So partly cloudy, maybe by late morning, and then that will continue through most of the afternoon tomorrow. I don't expect any wet weather. Uh, looking at these lows, uh, looks like upper 50s and low 60s. Highs tomorrow, very similar to today. Upper 70s and low 80s. Winds are going to be a little bit lighter out of the east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. This looks like great camping weather, at least for the front end of the weekend. Uh, temperatures tomorrow night dip back down to near 60 degrees. And then on Saturday, we're enjoying highs generally in the low to maybe middle 80s over toward I-49. Winds light out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday looks like a partly cloudy day. Saturday night, showers start creeping in from the west. That's towards Sunday morning. And then on Sunday, it looks like much of the area will have a chance for showers, possibly a few thunderstorms. Uh, that will have an impact on highs. Uh, looks like highs in the upper 70s to low 80s again across the area. And we're going to hold on to this pattern as we get back to work on Monday of next week. Highs in the upper 70s to low 80s with scattered showers. More of that on Tuesday. I do think the pattern dries out and slowly warms back up as we close out next week. Bailey? All right. Thank you, Jamie. A heat wave is